The Australian Transport Safety Bureau has released its final report into the loss of control and collision with terrain of a Eurocopter AS350BA helicopter at Hobart Airport on the 7th of November 2017. During a simulated hydraulic system failure exercise, a pilot under instruction by the helicopter operator's chief flying instructor entered a high hover before rapidly losing control. A delay in restoring hydraulics prevented the pilots from regaining control and the helicopter collided with the ground. Analysis of airport CCTV footage, photographs and air traffic control data confirmed that the helicopter had entered the high hover into a crosswind. The helicopter's flight manual stipulates that in order to maintain control, following a real or simulated hydraulic system failure, a shallow approach should be made into wind and the helicopter should not enter a hover. The ATSB reviewed 34 accident investigations of hydraulic systems failures or simulated failure involving AS350 helicopters worldwide. This infographic shows data from 10 accidents involving simulated hydraulic failure during flight training. It indicates that loss of control accidents during training do happen to highly experienced pilots. This and many other similar accidents illustrate that hovering an AS350 without hydraulic assistance can lead to a rapid, catastrophic loss of control even for highly experienced pilots. A pre-flight briefing was also not conducted, which may have led to confusion over roles in controlling the helicopter as the accident progressed. This reinforces the need for a clear understanding and coordination between instructor and student when conducting hazardous activities such as simulated system failures. The final report can be found on the ATSB's website, atsb.gov.au, by searching AO-2017-109.